to the Spanish Star League Season 3 Challenger matches here. We just had Rogue make very quick work of Heart. It was kind of sad to see, but we are going to move on to the second series of the night. It's going to be Bill versus Shine. That it is, Valdez. And uh, I feel like this one could be a bit closer. We'll see if, uh, you know, Shine can work his ZBZ magic here. The Bill obviously highly favored going into the series. I mean, the guy is the GSL finalist, uh, round of four player in last season of Star League. Um, you know, actually, no, it was round of eight you made it to, not round of four. Sorry. Yeah. No, it's fine. Otherwise, uh, you wouldn't wouldn't be in Challenger. But yeah. point is, the guy's the guy's good. The guy's got a better track record. Shine, we haven't even seen fielded by Samsung all that often. Yeah, uh, this, this is season. also funny. He played a lot more last season, you know, especially when they were going against SKT with Sulkiana. He played so many games against that guy. They sniped him so many times with Shine. It was so crazy. This like, is And this is the matchup he likes to come out and play. Uh, mm -hmm. He's played this matchup more than any other in Pro League because he is a Zerg sniper. You don't see as many Zergs in Pro League in general right now, so yeah. that might be part of the reason why we don't see him. Um, but anyways, this is a big deal, this match, because... If Shine is able to cheese Biel, I think a lot of Zerg fans will be upset because going into the actual Star League, I think Zerg, you know, there's a, there's very few Zerg players doing well right now in Korea um, overall. I mean, yeah, Biel did make it to the GSL finals, but yeah. he's like the top Zerg right now. Uh, to lose Biel early on here because Shine cheesed him out, I think would make a lot of people upset. I don't think it's going to happen, but it could happen. So, uh, you know, don't if you're at home and you're wondering, ah, I should probably turn it off, like Biel's going to beat him. <laughs> Slow down, because you yeah. never know. You want to be there if Shine, when Slow Shine down, really beats mate. him. <laughs> we got some games to play here. Uh, and taking a look at the chat, actually, for a second, I was a bit distracted by it. These guys are very close friends, it turns out. Like, speaking in total Palma, like, very informal speak, just going at it. Feels like, or Shine was like, oh, wow, the first series ended really fast. And Bill's like, yeah, I'm going to end this one really fast, too. You better get ready. Like... <laughs> Let's take a look at Bill's Star League results for this year. Besides, uh, you know, the GSL. In Season 1, he uh, went 50-50 in total. But a lot more games played last season. Nearly uh, making it all the way. Uh, classic stopped him in his track, so with some incredible PBZ play. Classic, of course, going on to become the champion of Season 2. So, mm -hmm. no shame at losing to the champ. No, uh, not really. And uh, taking a look at Shine over here. Uh, his his name really doesn't fit him at all. He's not a very shiny Zerg. He's very willing and able to get down and dirty with whoever you throw at him. And uh, taking a look at his way that he got here, he actually defeated Cure twice in two best of threes. Now, Cure is a very strong Terran, but he hasn't been showing the best games recently. But... You know, it's very interesting to me, at least, that he was able to get through that, you know, mid-tier kind of player. Because Shine, like we said before, he doesn't even really show up in Pro League anymore, whereas no. Kira, at least, is still there. Yeah, and if you look at his results, like his career results, um, I know you guys can't read Korean, but those were all Code S results, most of them from 2014, last year. And that's when, uh, you know, we have the round of 48 system in Code A. There's a lot of players that are not going to make it to Code S in that system. And he was beating players like Flash, who really struggle in that group stage, mm. so... Let's look at our bands here. Biel bans Deadwing, which is actually, I feel, a poor choice versus Shine. Yeah, I don't know about that one, actually. That's a very interesting ban. Um, and Shine eliminates Vani Research Station, so maybe Shine has changed his ways, but these bands, I feel like, are on the wrong side of the screen. <laughs> yeah, uh, very interesting. Maybe Deadwing has got, like, a pretty big choke, and he wants to play on maps that have jokes. I suppose that's something he's thinking about. Yeah, It's that's... not technically a four-player map, three-player map there, but... It's true. I very mean, interesting. The maps I look at in this list, that I, if I'm Shine, knowing how I've seen Shine play this matchup, the two maps I want are Coda and Echo. And yep. Shine gets lucky enough to have them, both of them, in the first three sets. Yeah. Uh, um, and Expedition Lost in Game 1 as well could actually suit his style as well. Well, anything could happen here. This, <laughs> this could get crazy. This is why this is this uh, matchup that we were really looking forward to tonight because it's going to be explosive, I guarantee you. We don't know which games, what player is going to do what, and that is the fun of it. Yeah. Mirror matchup that people have, you know, basically described as a knife fight. Yeah. Look at the smirk on Shine's face. He's leaning back in his chair. He's like, yeah, I'm going to start it off with a little easy nine pull here. Let's get it started, Bill. Let's get down and dirty. With me, the first map, guys, is going to be Expedition Lost. Let's do it right now.
here in the top right in the blue. Zerg player from CJ Entis. It is Biel. There he is. And his opponent to the bottom left in red. Samsung player is Shine. And um, let's talk about Biel's recent defeat at the hands of My Insanity Reign at the GSL Finals. Mm. It was not a very close series. And um, basically, Biel was shattered. His spirit was shattered. He cried on stage in front of his family, his mother that was there. It's uh, perhaps um, one of the most emotional moments uh, of, of of GSL yeah. I've ever witnessed myself. Um, I was actually brought to tears by it. Um, but th th the point is, the guy is struggling right now, clearly mentally. He's a bit unstable. You see the difference between Shine and Biel. We have that, that fly-in right before we go into the match. Is Biel is so silent-faced, doesn't look like he's he's very serious-looking, doesn't look like he's in a good mood, where Shine kind of grins and leans back in his chair, as we'll see another shot of him here, it looks what like. What are we looking at there? The hairs on the back of his neck? Were they standing up? Are they going that deep, Wolf? <laughs> Is that what we're looking at here? His pink cheeks, don't worry, it's just the lights. <laughs> I was wondering about that, actually. Um, one thing I also want to point out here is that Shine said in the chat to Biel, I don't know if he really meant it, but he's like, oh, all the big maps, all the four-player maps are at the end. If you'll notice, uh, the Cactus Valley, the Iron Fortress, those are maps four and five. And Shine said that to Biel, and he was like, oh, this is messed up. Like, everything's ruined, basically, is what he said huh. from that. Uh, maybe he was just trying to throw Biel off, and he is going to play aggressive anyway. But we'll, we'll see. You know Shine's tricky like that. I don't know. Yeah, you know what's interesting about that? And we have two gasless early expands here, so nothing to nothing to talk about they're missing. Both players did play the early uh, pool build, so to be safe. Yeah. Um, so that's the only thing worthy to note. We do see a faster gas here for Biel, but... Um, on that note, perhaps, uh, because Biel has been playing mostly in the non-mirror matchup, like there are very few Zergs, as I mentioned before, in these Star Leagues, so hitting ZBZ is something you very rarely find. In fact, the last ZBZ I think I can ever even remember that comes to mind in a Star League uh, was actually Sulky versus Rogue, like in Season 1. I mean, we don't see ZBZ that often in these... Uh, to be totally frank, in Korea, it's a, it's the new yeah. TBT, it's the lost matchup. Uh, Hyun versus Losira. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's the one. That's the one. That's the other one. That was a really good one for Hyun. Yeah. Um, those things should be denied here. But the, the point I'm trying to make here is that Shine just simply put Mei. Uh, oh! Oh, he gets in here. Wow. He may just be very confident in the ZBZ matchup and the late game. So that's why he wants to play these longer maps. That's why he wants to just be like, well, I, I've been practicing this matchup more than you. I know it better than you. You haven't prepared for it in a while. And uh, I'm, I'm going to beat you in the late game because I can make better decisions than you. Very curious to see what both of these players are going to do. To start things off, Shine gets a really nice scout, goes in, see the, sees the gas, sees the timing, and click in that and know exactly how much has been mined and knows exactly when he put it down. And, you know, just a small advantage here going into the game, but so far, very similar builds from both players. Yeah. Well, we'll have to wait and see uh, what they're going to do with this gas. As both players scouting the gas early on, um, well, actually, Biel hasn't seen the gas of, of Shine, so mm. I'll take that back. But with uh, Shine knowing about Biel's gas, can be a bit more conservative in what he wants to do. And Roachborn in the Evo Chamber versus a quick lair. The lair at this timing, uh, without a Roachborn, oftentimes means we're going to be seeing a uh, quick spire. But this one will get scouted, which is really important. That's like way more wow. important than just seeing a gas. Yeah, that's really huge. And he does put down the Roachhorn, in fact, right after that happens. Okay. So it could change up his build a little bit. Maybe it's just for safety. Now that he knows that Bjell saw uh, the fact that the Lair's coming this quick, and maybe he's got, like, in a very aggressive build, he could use that Roachhorn to be a bit safer. But Bjell oh. is... Uh, he's got that Evo Chamber. He's got the Roachhorn popping out here and the speed to follow things up. There's a few things that Bjell can do here. It just depends on what he thinks is is the case. If he thinks it's going to be a quick spire, he can be aggressive. If he thinks it's just going to be heavy upgrades and a very uh, you know gas heavy two base into a third base, he can take his own third. Um, but it looks like Biel wants to be very aggressive. Uh, yep. This is again maybe something that 
like all the Koreans that know each other and practice against each other, he's trying to ladder know that actually in this matchup that we don't see PL play too often. He's very aggressive in recent times, and uh, so maybe Shine is. That's why you're saying, oh, I don't want to play on these these smaller maps. It's it, you know, it's unfortunate the bigger maps come later. Yeah. Could be. It really could be. And looking at the build of Bill, it is coming right down on Shine here. Shine is going for speed and plus one timing with his roaches. This build out of Bill is going to hit really, really fast. And I don't think Shine's going to have enough. He was going for a gold base. That's going to be denied. Way too 100%. risky. Way too greedy here with uh, Roach Warren exposed like this. Speed is not done. His wall was not ready. The Queen has more energy. Is targeted first, so no transfuse. Second queen coming down doesn't have enough energy. He's trying to produce units, but more and more feelings come through. Look up the built up gas and minerals from Shine. He was supply blocked at 68 for so long. He can only make units now because he is losing so many of them. <laughs> well said. And uh, that's usually not a good thing, unless you're doing a four gate or something. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is going to be most likely too much. It's going to overwhelm him and kill him. Uh, we are going to go very quickly into game two. As Roaches do pop out here to defend, he will survive, quote unquote, but the damage has been done. These uh, Roaches are now just targeting, focus firing down with these uh, links to make sure he can keep the Roach count low to survive a counterattack because he knows economy wise. He's so ahead, he denies that gold base remake as well. Yeah. Ten Harvesters up, third base. GG. He's also got the speed for his links, so he can just run around, he can deny third bases. I don't believe that Shine has the speed for his links. I didn't see that ever come up. Nope, he doesn't have it, you're right. He's only got it for his roaches, that will definitely help out, but at the same time, it's going to be a while before he can take a third base. He's sitting on so many less drones that Bjell, uh, than Bjell had, and yeah. uh, Bjell's already got his third base up here. So the thing is, like, if he, if he moves his roaches to try to secure a third base, he doesn't know how many Lings are on the map, and Lings could just run in and kill him at the natural if he's not ready for that. If he, you know, just simply tries to make a third uh, base without it like this, well... As you say it, Wolf, it comes true. <laughs> Here they the, come. The, the Shaman Protoss, that's Wolf. <laughs> it's, uh, it's just too much. It's just being overwhelmed. The main base, we need to get a shot of it. Now we do. The drones are off the line. Oh, and he's going to get that queen, too. Ouch. He that, doesn't get many of the drones, but a lot of mining delayed. Also getting that queen going to hurt the larva there of Shine. And Bill, as we said, just sitting back, sitting pretty. It's, he's just so ahead. He doesn't even, like, he didn't know there was a third base. He could have killed it if he see, if he had seen it. But it doesn't even necessarily mean that that, was the, that would have been the right choice because killing that base won't matter if he doesn't have any drones to saturate it when it finishes. Like, when that base is up, that third base is not even going to be able to use it. He's not even going to be able to survive. In fact, Canceling it to get money to produce units would be nice here. He's still at 68 of 68 still supply. Still supply block there somehow. Somehow, some way. <laughs> Finally, we do see 76 to 76. But as you said, just way too much stuff here for Bial. Better production, better everything. GG. GG, indeed. Bial. Finish the game. <laughs> Bial just very, uh, very aggressive there. But, you know, he scouted the lair. And he saw that it was a very greedy build from Shine. Either it was going to be the greedy upgrade heavy build with the fast road speed and the fast plus one, or it's going to be a Spire. The response is oftentimes the same. Attack, be aggressive. Yeah. Seemed like that was the build that Biel was trying to line up regardless. And Shine kind of just playing straight into Biel.